After reading through the log chopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Alrighty. Oh, gee, it's this game? Yeah, the same game as the last time you stopped in earlier. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're starting out with the Sly one, I suppose, since we're already at Sly anyway. Is what we'll do. But yeah, I'm so confused about that last mission there. How the heck I won that? Like, I guess the opposite tank took themselves out? Somehow? That was rather strange. This game was so good, it really is. I mean, the trilogy as a whole is so good. But especially 2 and 3. Shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. All righty. And you were in the stream earlier, I thought, not so formal. I think. It, but now it's confusing me, and I'm second-guessing myself as you're talking about, like, potentially seeing me streaming this game for the first time, it feels like. Now I was confused. Wah! Okay, you were. So I'm not losing my mind after all. In that case. Um... Okay, let's watch out for these things. The icicles. Wait, climb up slide. There you go. There we go. Open the open the thing! Don't pick fine, we'll pickpocket just so that there's like there we go. It was taking up the use from my circle button. Alright, just gotta- I assume that's supposed to be Jolt of memory of the game? I assume that's supposed to be- can I- I can't pickpocket? That was strange. Yeah, that makes more sense. Small like it. There we go. <laughs> Down he goes! Well, that was wacky. Can't you just jump to the bomb? No, because of the electrical zippy zaps in the center. That instantly murderized me. Alright, let's not bother trying to pickpocket this time. Poof. It makes such strange sounds sometimes. Boobity bop. Yeah, let's just get rid of all these dudes. This is what we'll do. Now, why is this thing out? Why, oh why? How did they get up here? I gotta know how I got up here, but how did they? I'm not touching the control stick, but... <laughs> I was doing that. That explains it, what the... Not being able to jump down the side. Stop moving to the left slightly, Sly. The electrical zippy zaps there. Yeah, the, that, those red waves. 
Can I just jump above that? Okay, cool. Yeah, they kind of murder. No, man. <laughs> Come on. No. What the? Um, yeah, I was very close to the end there. Um, what? I could have sworn that was four hits. Is this guy invincible? I've hit him so many times. Okay. The camera is not supposed to be this way. It's supposed to be the other way. I glitched out the camera by dropping down by accident. I accidentally got the camera stuck the wrong way. You were clipping through the wall. Dang, I can't see the spotlights now. I glitched out the cameras and now it's facing the wrong way. Okay, now it's fixed. There we go. I'm not touching the stick. Wait, can I just like... Okay. Okay. I can't see the... Okay. Open it. Oh. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that Northern Light Attractor. It'll be slag in minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. <laughs> they should put an elevator in this place. I have to reach the top of the lighthouse before it's too late, it says. I guess we're going up then. Wait. Aw, oh, dang it. So I have to go to the top now, apparently. Well. Come on, I can't. I can't jump onto that thing. Come on. Okay, here's a platform. Okay, up we go. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. Let's, yeah, let's get climbing here. Whoa. Where? Let's not get zippity zapped here. Dang it, why does it keep doing, being those sides? Okay. What? What? What, do I just go onto the thing from? What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm over here now. Also, don't you love how the spotlights are divided into like those four parts there? My goodness. Camera sometimes, huh? I don't know why he likes to go to the left a little bit on his own. Guess the controller is really old. Thank goodness for the health thing here. So the spotlights don't activate for them though. Feels bad. Okay, up we go. How did you guys respawn? How did you do it anyway? I'm almost out of time! Come on! Here? Okay. Yeah, I know I was almost out of time. Okay, we're out now. All right, let's see. So it's just those two missions left. So I mean, I may as well take this here. 40 seconds. Should be able to make it, right? My oh my. I mean, it's the other side of the map, but I get to glide most of it. But yeah, that shouldn't be that bad. Probably, assuming I can go over this way and do this. Yeah, not that bad then. Let's bring that in. Switch to Murray, sure. And then his is over here. And then, yeah, we can use this to get up. This is what we'll do, up and around here. It's like that bear is attacking some guards. I feel my controller vibrating from it. And hello, Haunt. Hard to believe a year ago we streamed the first game. Wow, I know, right? 
And then next year I'll do slides. Also, by the way, I saw the message that you sent to me on Discord there, and I appreciate it, by the way. Yeah, I, I noticed that there, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the happy birthday song. It looks pretty Very thoughtful scary. of you. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water, and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. So freaking Bentley is bomb fishing, and it sends a fish right towards me. Uh, I was hoping that would actually hit the thing there. But how are you doing, Hot? How are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> Bentley's got fish freaking coming out of the sky here. All right, take out that thing. Take out the thingy there. All right, cool. So. <laughs> I love how Bentley's freaking using bombs to send a fish out of the sky here. Bam. Okay. Is Rizzle Phase on his way here? Is he? Where is he? Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Why are there so many dudes? Is Grizzleface coming here? Oh, there's another fish. Okay. Boop. You coming here? Coming here by chance? He's on the way. I hope so. I hope he's on the way. Doing real good. Actually, currently working on a project for school. Nice. Hope that's going well. I mean, okay, there we go. There we go. Where are the other ones now? Make your own hero-based comic book? Oh, neat. Are you, is that the project that's for school there? Is that for like an art class or a writing class or something? Is that what that is? <laughs> it's a chore to have you hate this. <laughs> well, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, I suppose. Fish are falling out of the sky. Where did you come from? My goodness. Also, by the way, in game, we're in Canada right now. So, you know, there's that. The only area in a Sly game that's in Canada. Well, this and the last one, since it's like a two-parter technically, but. Can I get a fish here? There it is! Fish! Bear's coming. I hope the bear's coming. I sure hope so. Oh, yep. We're just gonna take a quick break here. I love how the fish are just coming out of the sky. Let's send it at that guard. Sure. <laughs> right in class. Yeah, that makes sense then. Hope the class is at least interesting though. Let's throw a fish at the flashlight guard. Oh, there's the bear. There's the bear fighting all the guards. <laughs> Boy, yep. That dude's running. Okay. Attack this thing. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, one more over there. Anyway, yeah, I remember a year ago, Haunt, you were around for the stream of the first game that we did here. So you got to see the story of that. So do you like a quick rundown on what's going on in the story here? Because we're actually getting relatively close to the end now. Um, how... Okay, I jump across here. Ah! Oh, don't see me! Don't see me! Okay. I don't know where... Oh, that fish is over there. I can't... I can't get it there. Did I not self-take down him? Okay, there we go. Okay, fish. Sensors in the safe Bonk. House indicate that Grizzleface Whoops. Is on the move. I hope he's on the move. Where is he, though? Oh, here's another fish. Maybe I can hit the guard with it. Bam! Wow, my aim sucks. My aim is terrible here. Okay, fish. Oh. So he's gonna, is he gonna go after that guard now? That flashlight guard? Where is this guy? Where's this bear at? Where is he? Let's throw another fish at him. Bonk. But yeah, forces draw on immensely small scales in color with hand written dialogue, mind you. So it's like actual like drawing drawing, not like digital art drawing to make that. That makes things really difficult, especially if you make a mistake. Where is this bear? Oh, there's the bear. There's the bear. Here he comes. 
Hey, right, you're stuck at drawing. <laughs> no, they're smaller than your uh, drawing, smaller than your pinky, and your hut and rank is superbly bad. What the heck just happened here? Who just died? Oh, did the bear just kill somebody here? Bam! Go after that guard now. The smell of fish. Anyway, so what the heck is going on over there? Yes, you would. All right. So yeah, there was the plot of the first game, which was essentially. Wait, let's do this here. Look out! The plot of the first game was defeating the Fiendish Five and Clockwork as the main antagonist at the end, and this plot centers around Clockwork as well, because Clockwork is kind of. Now that the oil lines are exposed, Sly's all set up for a paragliding job off the lighthouse. Neat. Alrighty, so we can do Sly's job or Bentley's job. We'll probably do Bentley's job now. Um, also, on, first of all, unlike the first game, you get control of all three characters of Bentley, Murray, and... Ah! Sly! Ow. Unlike the first game where it was pretty much just Sly in a couple races with Murray. Um, there's actual health bars in this game, which is nice. But essentially, after Clockwork was defeated in the first game, and basically saying to Sly, like, you cannot defeat me so easily, I will come back. This game takes place like two years after Sly won, something like that. So, Sly and the gang are like, oh, wait a second, maybe we should actually take him out properly. So the parts weren't destroyed, and apparently he got, like, put in a museum. So, the, the game starts out with them actually going to this museum to try to steal the clockwork parts in order to destroy them permanently, essentially. But when they get there, another group has already stole them, being the Claw Gang, who is the antagonist in this game, uh, instead of the Fiendish Five. So instead of stealing parts of the Thievius Raccoon as like in the first game. In this game, we're stealing parts of the freaking dead mechanical burb to destroy them and prevent his freaking revival from preventing the freaking evil burb from coming back and like terrorizing us and stuff. Those are flashlight guards down there. Let's put you to sleep. This is what we'll do real quick. Would you like some bombs, good moose? There you go. Um, that is something. Yeah, this game gets pretty crazy. So we're on the second last world of the story right now. So first we went after Dimitri, who's a freaking legend, and I love him. We got the clockwork tail feathers from him. Then we got the freaking clockwork wings from Rajan, and we tried to get the clockwork heart. Sounds weirder allowed? Yeah, it does kind of. Were you good or bad thieves in the first game then? Uh, they're always considered good thieves. The... The group here only steals from other thieves, so they're considered to be, like, better thieves at least. Ones that want a challenge, I suppose. But they never, like, you know, do bad deeds or anything like that. And in the first game, stopping clockwork is really stopping a menace to the world at the end of the day. It's like Persona 5, but not. But not there. Um, alright, let's see here. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. <laughs> but yeah, so we've taken down most of the Claw Gang right now. We're currently going after Jean Besson, who's a freaking bison here in Canada, which is kind of funny, who's in possession of the Clockwork Talons at the moment, because he used them to chop down trees, because of course he would, I guess. <laughs> I suppose. But yeah, as Hot says there, never bad thieves um, in these games. So, so yeah, and welcome back home, Lyrical. Boobity bop. Around the middle point of the game, we get the darkest part of the entire series, where, like, there is a, there's two main cops in this game, of Carmelita and Neela. Um, are you invincible or something? Okay, they're not invincible. Um, of Carmelita and Neela, Neela being the new one who was introduced in this game. And Neela seemed to be an ally for a while who was actually helping Sly, like, break into places and stuff like that. But in the third world against Rajan, she kind of stabs everyone in the back and gets Murray, Sly, and Carmelita all sent to prison. So, the episode after that stops focusing on the clockwork parts and is literally just Bentley doing his best effort to break Sly and Murray out of prison. And then in 
then in the next one you actually do go after like those responsible for getting them into prison and help free Carmelita as well. The game gets really, really dark for a little while during those times. But now we're back into it. We're back into the swing of things. Going after clockwork parts again. Why can't I? Oh, that can I already open that one? I was so confused. <laughs> Whoops. But now we're back into the swing of things. There's only two Claw Gang members left, being Jean Besson and Arpeggio. And all we know is they're doing something weird with Northern Lights. And, like, they're filling up this battery with, like, Northern Lights because that's how lights work, apparently. That's totally how lights work. We don't know what it's for, but they're probably up to something evil, so we're trying to stop it. Yeah. You love you some dark shiznit. Yeah, it gets really, really dark there. Like, the prison warden, who's the one that you go after there, the Contessa, brainwashes thieves into telling her where they've stashed their loot. And, you know, basically, basically tortures or hypnotizes them until they tell her. So, you know, maybe a little bit dark there. Uh, okay, let's send up the grappling hook to Sly here. No, a little bit higher, okay. Like that. Oh man, higher? So, you know, it gets a little bit spicy. It gets a wee bit spicy. Whoops. <laughs> that is not something I could jump on. But yeah, so well, things got a little bit dark there for a little while, but currently the characters are kind of going through like their highest point in the story because during the last chapter, they stole three clockwork parts at once. So the game makes an effort to make sure that the last chapter is like the one where they have their highest high in. So like they're really feeling themselves right now. Um, so once they... So, the part that we're going after here is Clockwork's Talons, and Jean Besson has made Lumberjack games that we have to participate in, with the Clockwork Talons as the winning prize, and Bentley determined that to win the freaking Lumberjack games, we have to cheat. So now we're basically setting stuff up, both to interfere with, like, their plans with, like, the freaking Northern Lights and their energy supplies and stuff like that. We're interfering with that, while also setting up the games to be rigged in our favor. We're gonna cheat in the Lumberjack games, and it's gonna be great. But yeah, sounds like some supernatural type shit. Great show, by the way. Please go watch it. I haven't actually heard of it before. What's that about? Whoa. Yeah, it's a turtle that can't swim. <laughs> Nickel the zoo. Yeah, nobody can swim in this world, apparently. Whoa. Stay away. Wah. My goodness. Stay away. What's it about? Oh boy. Oh my goodness, there's more of a shield around this thing now. My goodness. Wah! Wah, stay away! <laughs> Say time already. Okay, let's take out these shields here. Crack's knuckles. Oh my. Jeez, they're filling it up with more and more stuff here. Oi! Oh my goodness, so many things are happening. Let's take out the shield. Whoa! Aha! Uh -huh. Hack it! Also, the Bentley doesn't quite move exactly properly with the boat, because that's something hard to do in games, is, you know, getting two objects to move perfectly with each other. The oh, first play. try that time. One more grapple line to go. But yeah, getting two objects to move perfectly with each other like that is definitely really hard to do. I can also say that from experience of a simple game making. But I can't imagine, you know, something way more complex like this. Ah, I'm only 23% boosted apparently. Only 23% boosted this time around. Let's see here. Wait, so am I going on to that boat? What's going on here? That's the boat? Oh, I have to go over there. I was I was confused for a second. It's like, what? Oh, there's the freaking mammoth! The <laughs> when we froze from earlier. Oh noes. I was wondering what <laughs> Poor to guy. guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. Poor guy. He's just stuck being frozen forever, apparently. My oh my. Alright. Now for the hardest level. Oh my goodness. Oi! Let's get rid of these guys here. Okay, stay away. Man, these green guys take so many hits, don't they? Oh! Wah! Boopity bop. 
Open the gates. Open the gates. Now B, stay back, heathens. I said stay back. Wow, the bullets don't really hold them back a whole lot, huh? Doesn't slow them down a whole lot. Woo. No. Oh, I gotta get through there. I gotta get through here. All right, there we go. All right, how much shield is... Oh my goodness, that looks like a whole lot of shield over there. Oh my goodness. How do I get in there? Oh, they got me trapped in a corner. Ow. Take out the dude who's actually shooting at me real quick. Oh, there's another one up there. Let's take him out. Okay. Oh my goodness, so much stuff here. I love how you can still hear, like, the atmospheric sounds of, like, Canada that they have. And the world around playing at the same time as this. Whoa! Whoa! I'm gonna take out those shields real quick. Dang, I keep running into things. I keep running into them. Oi! Okay, one more ring left. Ooh, ah. Oops, I just ran into both of those by accident. I'm gonna have to read that in a sec here. Because things are happening. Oi! Come on, take it. There we go! Freaking get in there! <laughs> but yeah, it is an adventure show following two 20 year old brothers, Sam and Dean, previously raged by their single father after the mother died by being pinned, gutted to the ceiling of their blazing house. The dad sets out on a quest to find what twisted their family life up. The yellow eyed de demo? I assume that's supposed to be demon, maybe? Uh, long story short, Sean and Dean, or Sam and Dean, meet up, go on a search for the dad after he set out and never returned. Huh. Also, look, Bentley kind of slides across the boat here. Because, like I said, it's really hard to program two objects to move perfectly with each other like that. So he's kind of sliding a bit. Huh, seems interesting there. Is that something on Netflix by chance? We have something? What do we have? How well? We have something? Can I pause? After this mission, I sure can. And it's almost over. I did it. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. There, job completed. It's done. It's done. Now we've got like no story stuff going on. I have to go to the safe house and switch to switch to Sly there. You say there's something? What does this mean? What does something mean? Headshot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's this? Along the way, they encounter demons, monsters, urban legends, evil spirits, you name it. There's a mix of demonic rituals. Satan becomes an issue and Sam accidentally starts the apocalypse. Dean was raised from hell itself by angels. That sounds really complicated there. It's really good. It sounds spicy. It sounds spicy. Let me know when. When for what? I don't know what this is for, but we're not doing a mission right now. So whatever it is, I suppose now. What? Whatever this is, should I actually hit the pause button? What's happening here? Should, should I be watching out for something? Should I, okay, I'm actually pressing pause then. What What's happening here? Pause time? Also, I have a... Ignore the hole in my hoodie there. It's paused. What do? What do now? Job help. Controls. What the heck? 1400 bits and there's a... There's a Google Doc here. What is this? Harm Collab. Personal thanks to Zin slash Mansi for this idea. They came up with the idea in the first place. Harmonia, here's everyone's art slash, slash messages for you on your 21st birthday. Much love from all of us. Emma, Nekolo, Lizu, Lyrical, Zid. Uh, thanks for another 100 bits, not so formal. What the heck? For all of us, Anima, Nekolo, Lizu, Lyrical, Zin slash Manti slash Sky, Cam, not so formal, Cordia, Undermise, and everyone else if they didn't know about this. I guess it was a project in the background then. Each page has a personal message from that user. Look at them all below. What the heck? Page two, Lyrical. Page three, Neko. Page four, Not So Formal. Page five, Adama. Page six, Zid. Page seven, Cam. Page eight, Courtship. Page nine, Carvia. Page ten, Undermised. What the heck is this? What? What is this here? Should I be showing this on, on stream here instead? Hold on. What? I should probably make this a separate window here. Is what I should probably 
to feels bad hot. I didn't know that this was a thing going on. Do I have a display capture too that I can load up here? Hold on, if I alt tab. Okay, it's that. Hold on. Hold on a hot second. Should, I should probably switch it shit to just chatting for a second here. Is what I should probably change the category to just quickly here. Um, hold on. Let's see here. Display capture to. Oh, my camera's gone now. Why is my camera gone when I do that? Why does that happen? Um, where's my camera at? Where is my camera at? How do I fix that? Hold on. Hold on a hot second. If I turn on display capture 2, why does my camera go away? Where is my camera anyway? Webcam. Here it is. Why is it off? Wait a second. Oh, display capture 2 needs to be... Wait, where's display capture 2? Here it is. Display capture 2 needs to be like down here or something. Like that. Okay, it's not blocking anything else, is it? Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so that's the... That's the camera there. What, what the heck is this here? All right, so that's showing up properly, right? Okay. Yeah, there's the there's the stream there. There's so many pages here. And the freaking another thousand bits from Anima, who's now number one on the bit leaderboards. What the what the heck and thanks so much anima and now you're you are now number one on the bit leaderboards as well you overtook paul Madon. insane okay i i guess we go through this now so here we have lyrical oh that's really cool i really like how the text goes like that oh that's really cool and don't worry about it lyrical don't worry about that Hope your birthday will be a happy one and that your cake is tasty. We have a few others team to make you stuff for your birthday. Hope you enjoy all our presents and want to thank you for everything you've done. My not like if you by the way, if nobody if somebody wants me to not read out their page on stream here, let me know and I won't. By the way, um, but it means a lot to me. You kind of are like an idol to me. Hope you continue to inspire others and you're truly an amazing person. Everybody, here's your beat and press it's an icon. I think that looks awesome. I think that looks really cool there. Thanks so much, Lyrical. And freaking not so formal with another 500 bits. <laughs> not so formal chipping in for a Lyrical and himself. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna make me emotional here. What the, what the heck? Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's absolutely incredible there. Happy birthday. Hopefully this view makes up for your being crap, but coming up with something good to say. But hope you do have a nice day. Keep up the good work. That's adorable. I think that's awesome. Thanks you thank you so much for that, Neko Lolizu. I think that's awesome there. Am I dropping frames? My stream screen's buffering. Okay, I'm not dropping frames. Oh, I dropped 22 frames. Fantastic. My goodness. Oh, that's so cool. Happy 21st made not so formal. Hey Harm, gotta say, mate, knowing you is pretty awesome. I get it. You're just some lad on the internet and ha! Typo, nerd. Oh dang. <laughs> and, uh, and most people wouldn't think that online friendships could be some of your friendship. And thanks for 100 more bits, Adama. For Carvia. <laughs> for Carvia there. Thanks for the 100 bits, Carvia there. Um. But your friendship means I shit done to me, chap. Social issue, cause no God knows it, but. Being able to be a part of your community makes me happier beyond anything. Just being able to wake up and check Discord to see the daily messages is enough to put a grin on my face. So yeah, happy birthday. Believe it or not, you make a huge impact in many lives. All of us could say that. But for real, mate, thank you and have a good one. That's really meaningful to say they're not so formal. Thank you so much. That's like... Yeah, some, you are right. A lot of people do say like, oh, inter internet friendships or relationships. Those, those don't really mean anything. Nah. That, <laughs> but... But yeah, it is really cool to, you know, make a community and meet people and actually develop, you know, friendships through that. And Adam, I hear <laughs> the dull totem, the dull totem and the flashlight. And now I see why you were asking about what survivor there. So he has, the Zoro has the Jake Green. Oh, that's awesome there. If you hope your day is filled with joy and more surprises, come from now on because it's the best day. Uh, I forget what episode that's from. What what SpongeBob episode is that from? Was that from the first SpongeBob movie? I'm forgetting now. Oh, that's so adorable there. Oh my goodness. That is so cute there. The purple flashlight. That's awesome. Demonic Manti screeching. That is so cute. That's so adorable there. 
Hey, it's a me, the Manti. Hope you have an amazing birthday in here. Actually, the organizer of the collab. <laughs> Thought I could try out something nice for your birthday. That's what formal did most of the work, but others too, so credits to all of them. Anyway, so glad to have met your awesome person. Inspire me a lot. Everyone else I've met thanks to you is also amazing. Not very good at these messages, but there is my shot. Hope you like the art, by the way. I think that's adorable. Yeah, unfortunately, Sky is asleep right now. Feels bad. I assume Sky will probably watch the VOD here afterwards in that case. So, in that case, thanks so much, Sky, for when you eventually see this. This is freaking insane here. Kev missed deadline. We're sure they would have had kind words. Sure of it there. My goodness. That missed deadline. Sure, they would have had kind words. Garvia. Oh, there's a lot of space here. That's strange. Thank you for being a kind friend to me for so long. Feels like we've known each other for many years. I mean, we technically have now. <laughs> Grateful to be able to call you my- Dang it! Grateful to be able to call you my friend. What the heck? Thanks for another thousand bits, Adama. What the heck is going on here? Grateful- Dang, I read that. It's just always a pleasure to watch. You definitely- and give me joy through the time I've known you. You pour your heart and soul into streaming and it really shows. The quality at which you put on a show is inspiring and I've said it many times before, but I'll say it again. You deserve so many more viewers than you get. Truly, I hope you get the attention you deserve. I firmly believe that if you keep working as hard as you are working currently, you'll reach partner. For now though, you have an amazing community that I'm honored to be a part of. Thank you again for all that you do. And for everyone, I hope you have an amazing birthday. You deserve it. And another missed deadline there. Sure, they would have had kind words. I was I was not expecting this here. This is absolutely insane. I was definitely not expecting anything like this at all. Like you guys are actually You guys are actually making me cry here. I don't know if I've ever done that on stream before. Thanks for 20 more bits, Adawa. Uh didn't even have a set time to do this. But yeah, and hot time to add your own personal unofficial addition to this. Time to add on to the document there. So it's getting emotional, and yes, yeah, you rarely, rarely see me like this on stream. You guys are actually making me, actually making me cry here. But <laughs> thanks so much, you guys. That and thanks for 12 more bits, not so formal. I'd count up the total and say thanks for whatever the total is. I have no idea what it is. Thanks for whatever that insane, absurd amount for both of you is. That is, like, <sighs> like I don't know. I honestly don't know what to say here. Like, what <laughs> what do I say to this kind of thing now is, is the thing. Like, I frankly have no idea. My voice is cracking up a little bit. I am. Um... <laughs> All right, you sounds good, Haunt. Like, I, <laughs> what do I even say? What do I even say here? I'm frankly at a loss. Lost for words. All right, he sounds good. Formal. Will do. My goodness, I am frankly at a loss for words. If you cry, I'm gonna cry. I already was crying, Adam. <laughs> I already was. You guys already made me a bit there. I'm starting to. I'm starting to get my stuff together now, though. <laughs> Thanks for nine more bits there. Oh my goodness. Like, where do I even start? I guess. <laughs> So, I don't know, so a couple of years ago, I, um, I'm not used to being a part of a community, like, at all, pretty much. <laughs> Thanks for the last three bits there, not so formal. You know, I'm not a, oh, my controller disconnect, whatever, I'll figure that out in a sec here. I'm, I'm not that used to being part of a, part of a community, stuff like that, much less you know, helping run and manage one, um, for, uh, for a very long time throughout school and growing up, I had a very hard time making friends and, you know, being a part of things, like, there was several years, in fact, that, like, my friend group kind of thing, like, the German group that I was hanging out with through the German bilingual program, I would, like, stand around during their conversations like stand around in the circle where they're having a conversation stuff like that waiting for my chance to hop in and talk and stuff like that and i would get an opportunity to like join the conversation maybe like once a week and the moment i would people would just respond with like yeah or they'd like look away and kind of ignore and then go back to like whatever the last thing that was being talked about was essentially wouldn't add on to whatever my idea was or if I would 
be brought into a conversation without me saying anything. It would typically just be something like, right, Jake? And I'd be like, yeah, or something like that. And then that'd be it. And then that would be like my speaking for the week done when it comes to at school stuff like that. So I've never really been been used to being part of a community or being included in a whole lot of things. So one of the big reasons that I want to that I wanted to start getting into streaming was to actually, you know, try out, you know, I don't know, forming a community and, you know, not being, I don't know, whatever you describe as my situation throughout, <laughs> throughout growing up there, to actually be a part of things and actually, you know, actually see if I could mean something to some people, I guess, I don't know, was like one of my motivations for for getting into streaming so stuff like that where people are letting me know that apparently i'm important to them there is the stream frozen there by the way oh no that's just my stream testing screen i was so confused because i was on the screen sorry i um yeah being able to hear stuff like that that apparently i've been able to you know impact a lot of lives like that it's you know, it really helps inspire me, I suppose. Like, it really helps keep me motivated to keep on pushing forward here, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it. It just, it's really meaningful to me to know that, you know, that I mean something to some people, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. Is, is what I mean there. But yeah, it was... And thanks for the follow. If dang it, it wouldn't. Dang, it, I can't say things. You wouldn't be if I'm saying that correctly. My goodness, I can't. I can't formulate my. I can't formulate my words here. You're moving the phone already. Like, uh, I don't even know what to. What to say to this kind of thing? You know, it. Like, how do I? properly respond. I know I've been saying that for a while. I I was not expecting that. I just <laughs> I don't know what to say except for thank you all so much. Like not only for that, but just for being a part of the community in general. Like there's something like 5 million monthly streamers on Twitch or something like that. So even just spending time stopping by and hanging out in this stream over literally any other stream that's live right now is already like so much more than I could ask for and makes me feel you know honored to you know be a part of what you're going on at the moment, I guess if that if that makes sense, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll switch my game category back now. In a sec here. I'll have it ready now that Hod's saying check Discord. I'll have it at the ready to click on update information. Is what we'll do. So now I have another one. Another one from Hot here as well. Harmonia Jig, my friend, the long haired weirdo. You have many names, my friend, but no matter but no matter who I perceive you as, you will always, always be one of my best friends in this strange world of the internet. Thank you. Thank you for willingly welcoming me into this community upon arrival. Treat me like a person and not just a name on a screen. Thank you for giving me such opportunities to meet such great people, such great friends, and being provided a safe haven with you when needed. Show me the light to many things, many games in their franchises, these wonderful people, and most of all, opening my eyes to Smash more seriously. You're one of my focal motivations into Smash, into Discord, and into online as a whole. Uh, thanks for 500 more bits, Adoa. <laughs> I'll let the bot play out. Oh, you can't hear the bot. I'm sorry. You are the MVP man. I'm Smiley sorry. Face. Whoops. Dang it. I guess man. we're I guess we're and replaying it. Happily pay any bits or Dang it. to help you. Hold on, I'll mute it again. I just muted this. I'm sorry. So you just So you just saw my dumb face doing that there. Okay, now I gotta Okay, I'll replay it so now you can hear. It. I'm sorry. I'll replay it. There you go. Habibi, Hold on. I remember the time Wait, maybe I should have read out the rest of Hots first. Dang! It was best and also <laughs> messed up now. You and oh man! You grow yeah, I had to turn off the sound. Happy. Oh man! And I am Sorry, my setup's that. all messed you up. You even go out of your way to help out anyone. 
You've helped my, me a my. couple of times, and I am truly grateful. And you've done two charity events. So, whoops. You are the Sorry. MVP man, smiley face. Love you, man. <laughs> and I would happily pay any bits or donation to help you out. Thank show love 100, show love 100, show Thank love 100, show love 100, show love 100. <laughs> show love, show, uh, the uh, freaking bot say that. Sorry, I turned off the bot earlier because it was being echoey. Or I turned off desktop audio earlier. Uh, sorry, I'll get to that in a sec. Oh, hold on. I'll finish reading off Hans here. Um, but yeah, motivation to smash into Discord and just into online as a whole make me feel like I could actually start something here. Ew. I mean a whole world to me. I can't ever fathom and word just how appreciative I am of you and your gift of friendship. Just thank you, seriously, thank you. Never know how much I we all truly care. Thank you, Jake. Your dear friend Connor Haunt. And uh, and Anima as well with that with that message there. And welcome back. Not so formal. You guys are actually making me tear up here. Like <laughs> I uh, <laughs> Like I have no idea how to, you know, respond to things here oh my goodness you're making me <laughs> emotional at the moment so uh sorry about <laughs> being uh being emotional right now yeah definitely not something that i was that i was expecting today um yeah just like i was saying before i'm just honored to <laughs> can we highlight all this later i mean it will be vods of a series i suppose will also be <laughs> will also be the case is kind of a thing, but yeah, truly at the end of the day, I'm just honored that anybody's, you know, spending time here and, you know, <laughs> sticking around here, spending time and giving a long haired weirdo like me a chance to entertain them. And people have made a few notes about being grateful that I've been able to help them. And I mean, I'm just happy to help wherever I can, I suppose. <laughs> Even if I'm not super helpful a lot of the time, I hope i just kind of cross my fingers that i am able to help in some ways and yeah i i don't know <laughs> i don't know i mean it's also being streamed if you do want a recording so that's already been done technically since it's already going to be made into a into a series <laughs> i can't even speak clearly right now I, this, <laughs> this makes me kind of want to have personalized messages back but i <laughs> I don't know where I'd even start with that now. Just <laughs> thanks, not so formal. Don't ever underestimate oneself. Give all the things you can't even been begin to comprehend. You do more than I could ever say. And thanks for four more bits. Add much. Should I put the jar on the screen? We haven't had the jar for a while. Like I know a lot. Of th oh, what if I turn on the jar in Dark Cry? Should I because. Everybody that gave bits there was kind of cheated out of their bit messages because I didn't have the box on. Is this all of them now? Is this all the missed stuff? Okay, look. Now all the stuff there gets to... Gets to fill the jar. Your dad texted you that one day, still hasn't left memory, that quote there. Don't ever underestimate oneself. You're capable of doing things you can't even begin to comprehend. You can do... You do more than I can ever say. That's a really good quote there. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's the bit jar being filled there. It's still going on. Dark Eyes getting absolutely freaking buried in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's oh it's still going on for the follow there. Yeah, Dark Eyes drowning in there. Oh, a little bit of a splash there. Yeah, it's playing all the bit things from earlier there. My oh my. Should I should I replay the ones that, like, had messages so that the bot actually reads them out so you're not cheated out of, you know, stuff there? Like, <laughs> should I replay the, the, these ones that have messages like this? Here, I'll replay these ones that have messages. Happy birthday one by one, you. so Happy we can so we can listen to Happy them birthday, as well. We can do. Friend. We get to see the Happy jar explode a couple times. We replayed that one recent 500 one, so we'll go from lyrical and me. We get to just see the jar kind of go crazy there. <laughs> he's already dead. Stop! It. He's already dead. This is for Carlos. Oh my goodness! I know he's not here. <laughs> the one for Car. Yeah, absolutely overkill there. My goodness, very much overkill. Sky yeah, that. For you. Well, 
Oh my goodness. My controller disconnected. It's not working anymore there. Um, Happy birthday. <laughs> also, I can't, like, I don't have hotkeys to turn off the jar quickly and easily like that, so I might turn it off manually here again. But you guys got to see the jar get absolutely filled and explode with bits there, and Dark I get absolutely buried there. My goodness. I... My, oh my, just... Just thank you all so much. Like, you have no idea how much that means to me. I've been watching your stream for a couple hours now. I'm really enjoying having fun. Really put a smile on my face. Wishing you a happy birthday. Greetings from Finland. Thanks, I appreciate it. I also don't know if I was pronouncing your name right earlier. I might not have been. <laughs> but I assume it's you win me, if I'm saying that correct. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, quite frankly, like I was saying earlier, there's like 5 million monthly streamers on Twitch, I believe. So even just spending the time here over like any other stream that's live right now is already way more than than i could ever ask for you know so like you all putting that together there just <laughs> thank you all so much i i've been streaming for just over two years now and for the first time in those two years you guys have made me cry on stream so <laughs> hope you're proud of yourselves for that over two years of streaming and that's the first time that's happened so, so yeah, I guess I'll mute desktop audio now. Let's try to get back into the swing of things here. I'm going to have to unplug my controller and plug it back in, I think. This is what I may have to do because it disconnected. Um, okay. Put that in there. <laughs> Thanks for the six more bits, Adama. Okay, I got the second half of that. There. Here, I'll replay it for you so that you can hear it. <laughs> so you don't get cheated out of the... Thing. There you go. There you You're go. Welcome. Suffice to say that today has been quite eventful, very honest, heartfelt, emotional. This is worthy of forever noting. Good job, everyone. Dang, I replayed it multiple times. You're welcome. Dang it. Please don't say it's queued up more times now. Okay, that's it, I think. I think I think it's queued up. Okay, my controller's working again. Oh my goodness. Well, this has been freaking Insane there. Thank you were kind of emotional too, but waiting for this all day and all day yesterday. Looking forward to sharing that Google Doc there. And thanks for another bit there. Awesome. Alright, I think I might mute it now so that the game isn't echoey. This is what I made you. If any more come in, I'll probably have to just turn it on again briefly. Okay, what were we doing? Were we playing a video game? I don't remember anymore. Were video games being played? I can't squip qu quick scope. Scope quick. I can't scope quick. Yes. That is definitely what I meant to say. I can't freaking words anymore. I don't know how to play the video games. We were gonna do a slime mission, right? I think. Oh, uh, what the heck? So it seems like something... It's freaking birds! Seems like something big really was being put together there. My goodness. Oh boy, I don't know how to properly get back into this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you fuck up your friend's ability to speak with kindness? Yeah, that... <laughs> That's kind of what happened there. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> no, you're crying, Adam. I don't. You'll make me cry again. <laughs> Dang it. I'm falling down now. I'm falling down once again. Oh, my goodness. My, oh my. Down we go. Yeah, that's the that's the first time on stream anything like that has happened. For sure. Like, the two years ago, so when I was turning 19 then, I remember on that day, I streamed Dead by Daylight, I believe for the first time, and I was playing with Anima and Shuck, and another person who doesn't actually stop by here, but I remember we were doing like, what were you doing Survive with Friends? I know we were doing Kill Your Friends later that night. So two years ago when I turned 19, I know that we were doing that. You were there for that too, you think? And I, and I also remember, like, one of the bigger streamers that I was watching at the time also stopped by, which was, which was pretty cool as well. Yeah, you were around, like, definitely at the time. Like, I don't remember much about that stream in specific. It's how you first got into DBD, right? Maybe. It might have been from that first stream. It might have been from another one. It was both we did Survive with Friends. Okay, so then we did Kill Your Friends after that then. I remember we were doing, like, Moonwalking Myers shenanigans. Like... 
it was definitely a fun stream there. And then last year, we did Sly Cooper 1 to, like, relive my childhood, which is why we're doing Sly Cooper 2 this year, and I'll probably do... Probably do Sly 3 next year, most likely. It's probably the case, have that going for a, for a few years there. And yeah, definitely nothing anywhere close to akin to this for the past couple couple years there. Like, last year, for example, like, I rarely ever tell people that, you know, my birthday is a thing that's happening. Like, last year, for example, I would basically tell people who asked why I was streaming this, like, oh, it's for an occasion. And if somebody asked what the occasion was, I would tell them that it was that it was my 20th birthday last year. Like, I remember Haunt asked what the occasion was, and I was like, oh, that's the reason. He was like, oh, happy birthday, in that case. But this time around, I was asked, like, a month ago in Discord, and then ever since then, it's like everybody suddenly knew when I usually don't go around telling people a whole lot. So, you know, it was very different there. So excited while at work and anxious that you'd miss it. You got cut right when the others started planning to send it. Oh, so it worked out perfectly then. Keep forgetting how we met. I think it was DB. Yes, it was. It was indeed. In order to overcome Jean Bisson in the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagles' protective instincts against Bisson. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. I don't know why his hat keeps glitching out during the Binocucom cutscenes. So happy when you got cut. Wasn't even mad you wouldn't get your full hours for the day to make it here to this there. Smoke granting more altitude. Indeed, with the fires there. But yeah, so like I was saying, nothing anywhere akin to anything like that happened the past two years of streaming that. Also, last year after, after streaming, like, Sly 1 for that, like, a after the stream, I got a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth because I was like, oh, the stream is over, time to see who I should host. And there was another small streamer who was part of my follow list and somebody who's like from the same city as me as well. I know that he's part of like the Twitch community here, even though I don't like, even though I don't like seek out the Twitch community here a whole lot, there was one brief time that I was briefly looking into it. So I knew he was a part of it. So I know that he's literally my same city as well. And I checked his stream title and it said that it was like birthday stream in the title. So I was like, oh my goodness, he has a birthday on this day as well. So I hosted him telling him happy birthday and stuff like that and started joking around being like, oh, another nerd who has a birthday on this day, on this day, or like another person who has a birthday on this day, what a nerd. And he would respond with just like, uh, yeah. It's like, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, he did not care at all. So, that, you know, after that stream, like, after I hosted that streamer, it kind of left a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. So, um, I unfollowed them, and I haven't been around the stream since then. <laughs> so, I scared him? Maybe. Like, I was making joke insults about having a birthday on that day, but, like, in the context of saying somebody else who has it on that day. Like, what a nerd. And it seemed like he was thrown aback by it. He was just like, yeah, okay. It was like, really, my guy? <laughs> so, you know, I host this guy during his birthday stream and after my own of the same thing. And yeah, so, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I had a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth after the last one last year because <laughs> Oops. My goodness. Now we go to the top this next year? No, don't do it. Okay, let's go over here. But yeah, maybe I scared him. I don't know. Yeah, the bird slap there. <laughs> Thank you, Lyrical. I appreciate it. Like, my oh my. But yeah, first year that anything insane like this has happened on stream. 
Yeah, that is basically what happened. Oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong there. Bye, oh my. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to take the rest of this playthrough seriously now, at this point. I don't know if I can get back into super serious let's play gameplay mode. Yes, this is the second last one here. So we're pretty close to the end anyway. So we've got this mission, then the heist here, and then like the last area. So we're pretty close to the end here. We can definitely do it in one sitting. For sure. We're pretty close now. But yeah. Yeah, super serious speedrun gamer mode. Exactly. Super serious gamer mode. We just elbowed your wire into the dresser, and now it hurts. Don't do that. Okay, let's avoid the eagles this time. Ah! This way, camera! Ah! Oh, I know that the wind clipped me before, so I'm trying to not even let that happen. Oh my goodness. Almost 3 a.m., but tempting just to finish watching the game. What, because it's so close? But oh, okay, that wasn't much of a cutscene there. Yeah, that's pretty early there. But I do guarantee that this game has a really good ending. Canadian Eagle Egg. All right. Um... We stole an egg. We stole an egg. Plant a Jambasan there. Boopity bop. But yeah, you're a funny bone, but it was funny, wasn't it? But yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys liked my, my freaking stupid corny reaction there. No, the corny isn't the word. What would be the term? Sobby? Not sobby. I don't know. I don't know what the, what the I don't know what the term would be. So, maybe soft. Maybe. Oh, did he shoot? Okay, he didn't shoot me. If he shot me there, I would have lost. That was so close.